Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Playing Dragon Quest V, Hand of the Heavenly Vine for the Android, iOS, and mobile devices. In the last episode, we got the Ring of Fire. And, um, I was about to call him Ludman, but, uh, Briscoletti gave us a ship, and now we're at the town of Stock and Barrel to try and find someone who can open up the gate for us so we can go and look for the Ring of Fire. Water? Anyways, this town is a pretty quiet little town in the middle of the mountains. And, uh, yeah, it's Stock and Barrel. Glock Talk at. Oh, screwed that up. God damn it. I was gonna say Lock, Stock, Lock and Stock and Barrel, or some. What's the name of that movie? Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. So, yeah, let's head down into the well. Hey, look, somebody's living down here. So yeah, he'll give us that item if we give him a desert rose. Alright, that's cool. Alright, well, I won't tell anybody. Anyways, this music is really nice. It's calming, it's relaxing. It definitely gives you the feel of a small village, for sure. All right, seed of strength. Oh dear God! No, actually, this guy's not too bad. Although I would like to use sap on him if I can, but I don't think anyone has that. No. Nope. Let's try to uh, lick him. Let's try to lick him. See if that works. No. All right, critical hit. Yeah, I figured that wasn't gonna work. And absorb magic, what that spell does is, uh, let's say you get hit with a spell. If you cast that absorb magic thing, you get hit with a spell, you pretty much gain the MP back of that spell. At least I think that's how it works. I hardly ever use it, so. As you can see, that item shop has nothing for me. No, nothing good. Anyways, uh, let's check and see what else we got here. Well, you always need a priest in the town. That's how you know you, you're an official town, is if you have a priest. And look at that. Well, you keep studying, and maybe one day you'll become a real priest. Just like Pinocchio, being a real boy and all that. Yeah, I can't go up the river. I am looking for someone to help out. And let's talk to this guy. And yeah, he sells in some interesting stuff. Battle axe, that'd be pretty good for whack up. Cautry sword. And a poison moth knife, which occasionally will numb a, an opponent. Or paralyze them, or whatever. Anyways, let's check out this place. It seems like they grow a lot of good grub here. You no? Know? Whoa, Bianca's here? Really? I wonder where she is. If that's true. Yeah. Yeah, so apparently they're talking about the Zugs one. Uh, cult or whatever. They're just rebranding. They're called like the White Knight, blah de blah blah. Oh, the White King's Paradise. Yeah, see, so it seems like they definitely have rebranded. From the Order of Zugzwan to White Knight's Paradise, which sounds a lot better, honestly. And we got another mini metal. I can't believe someone from this town went over there. They're probably they're probably dead. And yes, this is the hot, famous hot springs. Yes, I am. Although it is kind of funny that I'm walking on top of the water, yet these people are underneath it. 
Yeah, sure. It's kind of odd, if you ask me. You figure that they have like a sprite for when you go in the water kind of deepish. Or hell, even a little bit. No, oh, who's this person? If we come look at this grave here, we can get another mini metal. Hello. Oh, it's a lady. She doesn't seem to notice me. Alright, fair enough. I guess I am highly unnoticeable. I mean, not really. I mean, I'm wearing a goddamn purple turban and a big purple cape. You don't not notice me. Anyways, this spot over here will come into play a little later. At least I think it will. And if we go underneath this house, there's a guy underneath here. And apparently he's working. Oh, look at treasure chests. Oh, great. A TNT ticket. Another one. We're getting a lot of those. Oh, one thing I did find out when I was purchasing all those the, those shields, I ended up purchasing them over at um, Lodestone Harbor, or Lodestar Harbor, and when I purchased them at the item shop, they were giving me Trombola tickets, which is pretty nice. So I guess if you buy stuff from the item shop, they'll give you those. Hmm. Look at this big house over here. I wonder who lives here. Yeah, let's... Let's check out this stuff before we go over there. Yeah, alright, well. Let's go see this person. Hey, it's... It's Whitey Whitaker. Yeah, if you remember, I'm Kenshin. Pancrantz is dad. Um, yeah, I'm his dad. I'm his son. Yeah, oh, so Bianca is here. She must have been that lady I passed by. Yeah, he pretty much died saving me. And yeah, I really can't believe that his wife passed away before he did. I mean, he was way more sickly than her. That's crazy. And look who it is. It's the lovely Bianca. Yeah, I can't believe it. After all these years... I'm still alive. And it's really great to see you. And yeah, I do have Percy. Yeah, well, I'm glad that you always had faith in me. That was nice. I can't believe it's been ten years either. No, I'm not... Well, I sort of am in a hurry, but not... That much of a hurry. I mean, I got the Ring of Fire, and it's like... No one else is gonna get that, so... I can kind of take as much time as I want. But yeah, we pretty much catch up on old times and hear about all the good things that went on and bad things that went on throughout the years. Ooh, you're making breakfast? Look at you. What a lovely lady this Bianca is. What you making? Oh, okay. So let's talk to Mr. Whitey. What do you mean she's not really your daughter, your real daughter? Damn, man. Um, are you telling me to marry your daughter or something? I'll see what I can do, but don't put the guilt trip on me, dude. All right, sweet. You got food. You got anything for Percy? Yeah. What did I? What did I say? Oh, okay. Thanks. Yeah, I guess you can come along. It'll be fun. It'll be like old times. All right. So that's good. Let's go talk to your dad. Oh, you're gonna say this again? 
She's not actually my real daughter, which I can't believe she's not. This is unbelievable. Alright, listen, Bianca, you ready to roll? Yep. And once again, Bianca joins our group. And she pretty much will be around the same level that you're at, the main character. Well, it looks like someone's gotta go. Wacka. You are the weakest link. Ah, uh, Preston. I could get rid of you too, but no, Wacka, you are the weakest link. Sorry. So there we go. Bianca is uh, now in our group. She, I think she starts around the same level you do. Eh, her defense isn't that good. I should probably. All right. Yeah, leave it like that. So yeah, now we can do party talk again. Yay! Yeah, she, I guess she's been lonely, too. I mean, she lost her mom. I lost my dad. We could probably, uh... Yeah, maybe, you know, we can bond over that, I guess. Yeah, so this place is quiet. Roundbeck was pretty quiet, too. I'm surprised you guys don't own an inn. Well, he is no Percy, but that's nice that you take care of the kitties. Yeah, and I'm pretty much going to just talk to everybody here because I want to hear Bianca talk. Yeah, so this guy just ended up being her helper. He's a good dude. Yeah, I figured I'd look at this gravesite here. You don't want to mention anything about your mom's passing? That's alright. Yeah, so you guys keep that lock maintained, but why? Why, you can't have the water flowing? Oh yeah, so let's look at Bianca's stats. She's level 20, she's girl from the inn, which is kind of a odd thing. Anyways, I think she pretty much keeps all the equipment that we had on her before. But look at all these new spells she has. Plus safe passage, which I could have used in the last dungeon. So yeah, thorn whip leather dress and all that stuff. I don't plan on giving her anything new at this point. Except maybe this uh, silver beret. Or tiara, I'm sorry. I'm going to find a, a armor for her in the uh, dungeon that we're going to go to. So I'm not worried about that. And the silver and the scale shield, I think, is uh, probably going to be our best shield for a little while longer. So, whatever. Anyways, let's keep wa walking around, talking to the citizens once again. And apparently, her happiness is important too. So, what's the moral of this story? At least, screw your parents. And you be happy. Although, I guess that's, that's sort of true, I guess. Yeah. That's a shame you went to go live with that religion. But yeah, so I guess, uh, you know, I, get, I guess... I guess that he does have a point. I mean, you should be happy first. But you still got... I guess you... I don't know. It's a tricky situation. You know... You should be able to help your parents out, because that's pretty much, like, parents... I don't know. I don't know how to explain, but, like, you know, you, as a child of of somebody, you know, you, 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 you sort of have a little bit of an obligation to take care of your folks when they get a little older. I don't know. But then again, if she's only, like, 17 or something, or 18, or however they're supposed to be at, the, at this point... You know, it is asking a lot to take care of a sick uh, family member. Yeah, we're having great weather. Yeah. So what am I going to do? Well, 
I am going to use, because now that I have, well, I won't, but let's just go and see, let's see, where is it, nightlight, here we go. Pretty much I'm going to explore this place at night, and we're going to hear what Bianca has to say. Get some more depth of the town. So yeah, that's the item shop. Yeah, you pretty much did the same thing. Pretty much in here is what I'm really coming for. But yeah, you know, like I said, it's a tough choice, you know, taking care of a, of a sick relative or, you know, taking care of uh, yourself. Obviously, you should take care of yourself because if you're not in good health, you can't, you're not good to anybody. I don't know. You know, I come from an Italian family and pretty much family's really important, so it's like, you know, you help out your family whenever you can, and I don't know. It is an interesting quandary, but you should be able to, be able to, like, I don't know, you should be able to, to, uh, I'm trying to explain this in a way where I'm not getting all tongue-tied. You should be able to do your own thing, but if your family needs help, you should be able to help them if you can. You know, that's pretty much what I'm getting at. Anyways, they're all talking about the uh, White King Knight or whatever, and how it, how that guy thinks it's a crock of croc. And yeah, she hopes that these girls hang out because they're the only ones that are her age. But yeah, it, you know, the nice thing about going... I won't do this for every town. Uh, at least most of the towns I probably won't do this for. Well, no, I'm probably going to go back and talk to everybody in the town, but... I haven't done party talk in a lot, a lot of places just because I don't have anyone to talk to. But now that I do, we're going to do this, but... I won't, I'll try not to do this and spend a whole episode just in one area talking to people, but I figured since, oh, look, there's no one over here, hmm, usually there's an old man or somebody who's hanging out over there looking down and being all pervy, hmm, well, I guess not, but yeah, usually I don't want to spend a whole episode just going back and forth between day and night with the town, because I feel like, you know, it's kind of... Wasting time a little bit. Well, not wasting time, but, you know, I'd like to try and, you know, have some progress throughout the video, so... I'll try to, uh... I'll try to keep a, a balance. Anyways, we got new enemies here. Sucking... Suckling Octor. Now, Bianca has that whip, which sucks. So maybe I'll try using a spell. Alright, stop doing that dance. Oh yeah, so she's got oomph, which is pretty nice. Let's use, uh, no, I don't want to use that. Let's use this. Nice. Alright, not bad damage. Alright, there we go, we beat him. I like how I like the ocean background for the battles when you're on the boat. Alright, so let's use Vlad's, Vlad's TikTok ability. He'll pretty much turn day into night or night into day with that ability, which is nice. And let us head into Monster Fair. And what we'll do is we'll come over here and purchase. And we have enough money to do so. We're going to purchase a Morning Star for Bianca. So at least she'll have some sort of decent attack power if I don't want to use any of her spells. But that's pretty much it. Um, I'm trying to think if there's... Let's see if there's any armor here that I could get her. I'm not buying the clo cloth of evasion because we're going to get a... Oh, no. She can't be equipped with a top hat. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna buy that just because, uh... Eat. I'm gonna be getting a really good armor in the next dungeon. So that's cool. And, uh... Yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it for this episode. Um, in the next episode, we're gonna head up north to the uh, Cataract Cave and find the Ring of Water. So I've been Kenshin1913, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.